Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Hoskins, PureCarnow.com. I'm the gentle giant of chiropractic, loving to serve my community, my friends, my family, here on the south side of Lake Bowen. Freakonomical Friday. Freakonomical is a mashup of two words: freaky, phenomenal. I had somebody the other day I was trying to teach that to that said it's a uh, freak, uh, comical, freak, freak, comical, freakonomical, freak, comical. Anyway, it's freaking comical. Uh, it was uh, kind of an interesting little thing because uh, that word trips people up, but it's okay. It catches their attention, and I'm fine with that. It is a freaky, freaky, phenomenal Friday. Technology has really kicked me in the butt this week. Oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. Uh, Julie's computer crashed, and the Internet to our house and the business crashed and my new brand new laptop crashed and my phone crashed and Julie's uh, computers at work were acting funny and 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 technology really can suck sometimes and in fact this morning when I went to go make the first version of this the computer was dropping like 90% of the frames but it was sending it to uh, Facebook and uh, I'm like well, that's not even this shouldn't even be possible then I realized I'm uploading some YouTube videos uh, from another computer on the same network. And, uh, yeah, it's quite possible because there was interference. It was good interference, but there was interference in the transmission of this signal to you guys. So, um, yeah, interference is not fun even when it's on purpose. Um, interference definitely is not good when it's uh, uh, caused by some negative force. And that's what we do in chiropractic, is we help your body overcome those uh, negative interferences, those uh, interferences that shouldn't be there, that aren't caused by anything else other than pressure on the nerve system. Interference is what uh, also in, in, interferes with us doing what we should do in our calling, in life, in our profession, with our family. Um, for way too many years, I've been led to believe one end of the spectrum on belief about uh, a lot of things. Uh, and I am finding that uh, it's not the other way either. It's in the middle. As Pastor Byers from Off the Pit says, it's all about the balance. And the balance between this field of thought and this field of thought is usually the biblical field of thought. And that's what I'm trying to find out this year about a lot of things. And in thinking about stewardship really hard last year, and continuing this year, um, stewardship of the body is something uh, that I've shared with you already. I've shown you the, the before pictures and the, and the now pictures. But I am at a, at a plateau right now for the next couple months to help my body recoup and uh, do any kind of uh, equilibrium it needs to do to uh, set this as a high end. And then we're going to go and drop another 20 to 40 pounds and get down to what my target weight is. Um, but this shirt is a 3X. I used to not even be able to put on a 4X without uh, it being really, really tight. Now, um, it is a little bit on the form-fitting side, so don't freak out too much. But it's a 3X, and um, that's not too bad. So, still got work to do. I'm not saying I'm done. I'm not even saying I'm an expert on this stuff. I'm just saying um, it, it is a process, and it has to do with clearing the mind. Which brings me up to another thought of this interference on thinking. On uh, Monday, my coach, Larry Goodman, um, he's a business coach. He's becoming uh, a common sense coach, too. Uh, I'll let him know that on Monday that I said that. But uh, he gave me this tool that's been around for a while, but nobody's ever really told me, even though I've seen it in movies. Uh, it is when something, some memory comes in and you start ruminating on it, which means barfing it up and chewing on it and thinking about the negative parts. Um, you, you, you verbally, audibly say, cancel, clear. And then you go on with the positive things of that, that that event brought about. What I do is I break into prayer and I say, Lord God Almighty, you are the master of all, the creator of all. Obviously, that didn't escape your attention. Thank you for allowing me to go through that and surviving and learning what more can I learn because you, it was brought up to my attention just now and turning it into a positive experience rather than a negative experience. And that has been revolutionary this week, just in dealing with these failures I shared with you. It's like, okay, 
yeah, we can we can stomp around and throw things and get really upset and or we could just, you know what? Happened, didn't take God by storm, didn't didn't surprise him. How are we gonna turn this into a positive? And Julie and I had some really good just deep conversations, horizontal I mean, conversations just filled up the space, which is a very sweet time. So yeah, that turned into a positive. Um just just found other ways to fill the time other than sitting in front of a screen doing stuff. A lot of stuff to do that has to be done. And uh, we're getting it done, but that was just a, an interesting thing of, of, of canceling, canceling, canceling the negatives and clearing it and then focusing on the positives and what actually came out of it that's useful. So I'm not a, uh, well, I'm a very optimistic kind of guy, if you know me. But I'm not one of those, uh, everything is just roses, because they're definitely thorns. But those thorns are there for a purpose. What does that got to do with anything to do with chiropractic? Everything. And uh, if you don't know the connections already, um, maybe you need to go back and watch some more videos. Things happen to us all the time. Uh, stress builds up. It uh, causes our body to do some weird things. It causes our body to uh, catch and it causes our, uh, our uh, protective muscles to guard and lock up joints in the spine. And when the joints in the spine lock up, that puts pressure on the nerve system. Pressure on the nerve system is never good. Uh, mechanically, physiologically, chemically, uh, quantumly, whatever way you want to think about it, pressure on the nerve system is not good. It causes it to not be happy and not function well. And, and, and it, a nerve system that's not at 100% is not the best it can be. It's at 105%, it's 5% off. If it's at 90%, it's 10% off. 100% is where you want it to be. That's what makes the elite athletes the elite athletes. Um, the people that are at 99.5% or 100.5% just aren't elite athletes. They just they lose their balance. They, they lose it. They never make it to that 100 all-greatest players of all time in the NFL list. Um, they're just not quite there. Chiropractic helps your body be at 100% when it comes to that pressure on the nerve system. And that's what we're here for. Not the answer to everything. We're definitely part of the answer for everything. But we're not the answer for everything. If that intrigued you and you want to find out more, please reach out. Talk to me. PureCoverNow.com, DocHoskins.com. Go to any of those. You have ways to, to contact me. Let me know. Happy to talk to you about it. If you're not in my area, if you're not in beautiful South Carolina on the south side of Lake Bowen, let me know. I will find somebody for you because you need a chiropractor in your life. You need it on a regular basis until you can't make it there no more. And then they need to come see you until you're not on their earth or no more because that's how important your nerve system is. Anyway, enough for Friday morning. I may be back this afternoon with other stuff because, you know, things happen and life goes on. Love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.